CBS 47's Ben Morris joins us now from the county clerk's office downtown Fresno where the vote count continues tonight. Ben. Brian and Catherine, the count is ongoing at this time, but as of now, there are nearly 800,000 votes left to be counted, counted statewide, with just over 6,000 of those coming here in Fresno County. One of the main focuses of the California legislature with elections in California has been inclusion of as many voters as possible. Fresno County Registrar James Koo says with that, mail-in ballots were continuing to roll in even a week after election day. We accept ballots that are postmarked by election day all the way up to yesterday. So we've had valid ballots coming in for seven days there. As of Wednesday, nearly 800,000 votes have yet to be counted in California. In Fresno County, that number is drastically different with nearly 6,300 ballots left to be tallied. Who says there is an end in sight? We're looking to have final results out around the time of March. Start of the next week there. Fresno County recently updated its Assembly District 8 race. Republican George Radonovich has already advanced to the November election and is holding a strong first place lead. The battle for who will face him saw Republican David Tongipa pulling ahead of Democrat Caleb Helsel. Tongipa tells me he expected a tight race. Working with Supervisor Mag Sig, working with Jim Patterson, the work that I've done with Lisa Smith Camp on repealing Prop 47, I think is being recognized locally. Um, I just need to expand into those mountain communities and such a large district. I mean, this district's the size of South Carolina. Helsel is talking for the first time. He says it has been a roller coaster watching these votes come in. However, he says he is still confident and will be proud of his team no matter what. I'd still be happy with them. You know, we ran a progressive campaign in a historically red district, historically very red district. We fought hard in the polls and we're still fighting hard. So I'd say I'm feeling pretty good. And for the latest on this assembly race and others as votes continue to come in, make sure you visit our website, yourcentralvalley.com. Running live here in downtown Fresno, Ben Morris, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.